Yeah, you can't pull it once it's already been pulled once. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. If you forgot how to use the whip, just open it up with the L button. Whip, whip, whip by tapping. Yeah, and now we continue. <laughs> nah, there's really no need to do that. Uh, just messing around here at the beginning like I always do. So now I, I opened this up earlier. Uh, yeah, you just whip these thorns to pull them off. But we actually got a hint going on here. Three blades sit in a row, retrieve them all, and the path may open. Oh no! Because you notice on, on the upper screen here it's saying there's no post over there. Why would you even try that? <laughs> Always pay attention to the upper screen. So yeah, there's there's these guys around here, and they they are a part of a puzzle later on. But they how did that miss? <laughs> it's just like it just went right through it. But the thing about it is that we don't quite have the solution to that puzzle. Well, I mean, I might know the solution of it offhand, but <laughs> take that snapper. But the thing about it is. Uh, I don't really have... I mean, I'm not really sure about that. I, I could be... Ugh, dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a heart for the, the damage that I sustained from you. But yeah, I'm not really positive I have the correct solution for this. But just, just for the sake of... Uh, just for the sake of fun, like when I wrote down the, the solution to things that I did before, uh, before I actually got there, I think it was something like, uh, and then two, three, you'll, you'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about when we actually get to the point. Uh, but yeah, what we want to do here is we want to retrieve all of these swords and flop them out. Or, oh, no, I didn't want to put it back in your mouth. They, yeah, you can... As I showed before, you can put them back in their mouths. Uh, I'll, I guess I can show you in a minute. <laughs> but anyway, they're going to raise up out of the ground. It's, it's kind of a weird graphical thing there, but yeah, you can do that all day long if you want to switch their positions. Um, so I got that puzzle done, but we're not done with this whole uh, shenanigans here. We're going to go ahead and latch onto this. Um, just keep holding on to the touchscreen. You don't have to hold the L button. You just keep holding onto the touchscreen, don't release it for anyone, or anything, you're perfectly safe. Just keep going with the ride, no matter what kind of pit it takes you over. I assure you, you will be okay. I promise you. Uh oh, uh oh, what could be over there? Who knows? Who knows? But what I do know is, our propeller is going to sputter out right here, just in the nick of time. <laughs> So yeah, those propellers just get you from place to place. And oh no, Battle Arena! Oh, purple choo-choos of doom! They're invulnerable! They're invulnerable! Or are they? Use the knife! <laughs> or sword! Looks, yeah, I'd say it's more like a throwing dagger. So it's more, it's closer to a knife than it is a, uh, a sword, I think. I think, I think. <laughs> And that'll pop that sucker up there. But that's nice and prepared for the future. By the future, I mean relatively soon. <laughs> Oops, I, I let go of the touchscreen. See, I told you not to let go of the touchscreen. This one should poop me out about around here on this, because it's the closest area. Yeah, it's just, it's just really that first one that takes forever to actually get you to your destination, but you most certainly want to use that one to get to your destination. Alright, and just to show you this little, little last bit over here, uh, yeah, it just, just leads to a dead end, or a seemingly dead end. You don't really have any indication as to what you're supposed to do with those fish as of right now, but you will later on. <laughs> alright, alright, so let's move on. <laughs> Be quick on the touching. You've got to do four of these in a row in midair. The first one starts from on land, so it's the safest. And now this one's especially tricky because you got to do it while falling. After I think it's the third one. Uh, no, it's the fourth one. And because you don't, you will not be able to reach that unless you let yourself fall for a bit. And oftentimes, and that's just the way to get yourself back. It changes its position a little bit. Um, but yeah, that, that one is a little bit trickier than the other ones, because if, you, if you're trying to whip that, you'll never reach it from that distance. So you're gonna just end up 
uh, whipping into the air, and then you're not going to get anywhere, and you're going to fall to your... Well, I, I was going to say doom, but you'll just lose a heart or something. <laughs> Remember the place in the blades. That knowledge will be useful in another similar room. So yeah, this is why I wrote down 3-5 on the other one. Because it's it goes from 1 to th one to 5 there, you know. I just kind of write down in some sort of... Uh, oh yeah, I just need, need something else to throw at you. That is also a 3-5. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I need a dagger for you. No! <laughs> yeah, these are the what the ones that uh, respawn and whatnot. You can you can plop it in other fish's mouths, but once you um, throw it out of there, it'll respawn back in the original fish's mouth. Yes, yes, that is dagger trivia for the day. <laughs> uh, I guess as long as we're going around counterclockwise, you can flip-flop around here. See, there's, there's nothing in here, so that's why I put zero. But I'm not the one I'm not sure about is this one. Uh, I just remember that one because it's zero, and then there was two three fives. Uh, because yeah, well, obviously there's two. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go take a look, see uh, at those other ones, just to be sure uh, that I got them correct on the other one. We'll see though. Another dragon scale. All right. <laughs> And by the way, I'm, you'll probably get different treasures that I'm getting and whatnot because, you know, randomization and whatnot. Oh, it's one in three. Okay, so you see, I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't have it all completely memorized. Whoops, 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 whoops. Map, please, not the real map. So I'm going to go over to number five and mark one, three, not one, two, three. That'll do. <laughs> I could be raised to two first, but I thought that because I already had the... The pen out that would save a little bit of time. Um, you'll notice that the boss key is over at the bottom there, and also you'll notice that I'm not getting it now. That's because we cannot get to it now. So yeah, thanks to lowering that a little bit, now we can reach up and grab that other post to whip myself across. By the way, you can also use this to get yourself across gaps. You go Oopsie doodle, I missed. Uh, you can also use this to get yourself across gaps after playing the song of birds to get birds to come to you and then grab onto their poles that they're holding. And yeah, there you go. So that's how you get that treasure over on uh, uh, the ocean. Oh shoot, I didn't, I didn't mean to throw that. Well, it's just going to respawn anyway. <laughs> so yeah, now you know how to get stuff. No, I don't... Number five, not four. I know you guys are all hungry, but come on, you gotta solve the puzzle eventually, and I, I, like, I can't solve the puzzle unless I get these in the right fish's mouth. It's nothing personal or anything like that, it's just the fish have gotta be, the fish have gotta be a certain way fed. <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> nothing there, and finally, finally, oh, I just need to move this one. Yeah! That allows this door to open on the other side. Like, what? 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 Well, I, oh, I didn't get the key. Oh, I forgot where the key is. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a that's a poopy predicament. <laughs> mm, yes. Where could there be a key? Did I forget it on the other floor? I'm... A <laughs> <laughs> that just looks ridiculous. Just like flops out of the air. Okay, so yeah, I'm missing a key. Where could that key be? Oh wait, over here. I forgot to do that little Indiana Jones segment there. Okay. Yes, yes. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. See, I didn't open that chest. I can't believe I forgot about that one because I said I was gonna come back to that. But I didn't. And I was like, why don't I have the key? Well, that's why I don't have the key. Because, <laughs> yeah, I should have a key at that point. Now I have a key. <laughs> Alright, going across. And we are very close to finishing the dungeon. Can you believe it? I know! <laughs> the whip really is a very swift item. You just... Get yourself around flopping everywhere. Woo! Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. I was tapping like a madman there. <laughs> Alright. Now, for that locked door. 
<laughs> That'll allow us to cross over to that gap because remember before there was a doorway that we opened up uh, when we came through here before, but didn't have the key just like a minute or so ago. What a waste. Oh, what a waste. <laughs> I lost a little bit of efficiency. That would be like a run killer of a speed run. <laughs> It'd be like, reset, it's over. <laughs> Alright, see that this is where the door was. The door would plunk, plunk you to your doom. Okay, mm so now we want to do... This and then we want to grab on. Oops, want to grab onto it like so. But we won't actually be able to get all the way over to the other side. What we got to do is we got to cross over and land on this. See, it'll never take you above solid land, but that one will most certainly uh, take you to a moving block that you got to time yourself on. Now here's is this is a pretty tricky one here. Grab this. Warning! Warning! Yeah, they're back, and you don't have Zelda to defend the key. <laughs> like, you don't have a team effort going on, because she doesn't have any phantoms to inhabit. So, what do we do with this? We've got to defend it all by ourselves. And this could be dicey, and it's such a short distance. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it over there, and attack like crazy. No, you don't. No. Oh! Did you just flick me off the edge? Well, it's too late now, and that's what happens when they grab the key. So, you know, just poops it back over there, and you gotta restart it from the beginning. But the issue with that is they'll all, uh, they'll all basically restart from the beginning. Like, even if you killed one off, they'll all start at the same timing that they were before of everything at once. Yeah, see, all four? Yeah. So I'm just, <laughs> just in a rush at this time. <laughs> Since I don't have a cutscene to worry about. Oh yeah, you're stuck on those stairs. <laughs> I like those apples. Not very much. Those are sour apples. And there's no caramel on them with nuts. Alright. Floor 7. <laughs> it's a pretty tall dungeon, but the rooms are relatively short, so... Yeah, we're, we're basically climbing up from the basement. Well, maybe not basement. It's, whoop! We're basically climbing up from the basement to the, um, uh, there we go, to the top floor. Well, it's, it's really the first floor to the top floor, but the whole thing is flooded, so it feels like the basement at this point. <laughs> and, of course, this is the usual step into the blue light and return to the start of the temple, yada yada yada, you know that. Alright, let's climb up. I climb up, I mean really climb up further. This is the outside of the temple that you seen while we were climbing, uh, while we were riding around on the rails. Yeah, it, 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 you could actually walk around here, but you can't dock your boat there. Man, if you could dock your boat here, that would have, oops, I, that would have saved you so much more time, wouldn't it? <laughs> By the way, that uh, screen effect that you've seen there, you would not even notice that on an actual DS because the screens would be further apart like they should have been, but I mean like they would be normally. But here I'm trying to maximize screen size, as I said before, so I'm trying to get them trying to get them all set up and good to go. Watch for the poison. I just wanna touch there we go, I wanted to get one of those There we go, I wanna poke its eyes out. <laughs> With its own spike. That has gotta be like the most insulting <laughs> insulting way to whoops! Insulting way to fail ever. <laughs> maybe, that, probably, maybe not as insulting as that, but still, still plenty insulting. <laughs> so what we seen there was actually a part of the boss itself, but but we're not we're not gonna say the name just yet. We are going to wait off and hold off just like I did before. And I, oh, I can release now. <laughs> All right, let's give the name game. It's Psytops! Oh, well, Psytops. I thought it was Psytops. Well, I was close. The Barbed Menace! And of course, you use your dungeon item to defeat it. It doesn't take all that many hits to defeat, but that's because each cycle is relatively long, so be prepared to endure! And also save your uh, save the pots for extra health if, if you need it and stuff like that as usual. Alright, so you grab a thorn, of course. Throw it at the bubbles on the face. There's two bubbles to take care of, and then the eye comes out. Ow. Watch out for poison, of course. Poke the eye out, go where the head is. Attack! Woo! Yeah, 
but the cycle is just going to get longer as we go here. And also now they're going to start whipping it and whipping it good, just like we do. <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's actually just one critter, it's not a they, it is a one, it is an it's. Who knows, though? Ah! Who knows if the, they have a mind of their own, because you've seen that they have eyes, so... Maybe they are a they, who knows? All I know is, we are taking this boss to the cleaners! <laughs> and the cycle repeats. Do, do, do. You can just kind of do do the dance of left and right there if you really want to. I missed time that last one there, so that's why I took damage, but that'll work out just fine. <laughs> Watch out for the whippers and the poisoners. Uh, I was going to grab that part, but I can wait a little bit. <laughs> Actually, I'll do it like that. How do you like those apples? There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Not far. I mean, not close enough. I need one. I need... Ah, I had one. I had one, and I kept touching like a greedy guy thinking I didn't get it, that I kept trying to seize the moment, but the moment has already passed. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I missed time that first one. That's okay. It only takes out a half heart each cycle. No big deal. There we go. By the way, you'll notice that the... Uh, that barb tentacles there, or barb thorn things, they resemble the stuff that you've seen throughout the tower as well, so it's quite possible that- whoops! Don't make me- oh! <laughs> so it's quite possible that we are actually pulling off these barbs uh, through of the boss throughout the whole temple. But also maybe not, because the you'll see those sorts of thorny barricades also around the whole game, unless its tentacles extend that far through the world, which I guess in theory is possible if they're really, really that long, but not after I kill it here. <laughs> they should all disappear, just like its whole body around the whole world if, uh, if that is the case, but no, no, no. <laughs> All right, so another force gem has been activated. Well, I should say a big force gem, not the old little regular force gems. This is the big dungeon force gem that will prove to be doom for all who opposes good and righteousness. Woo! And of course, with the activation of this, comes new tracks. Remember, these are not attached to the uh, uh, Tower of Spirits at all, so as this zooms out of there, it's going to go all the way up and make some brand spanking new tracks. Heck yeah, baby! And also, our Lego-ified tower is going to be popped back together. See, look at those bumps on the underside there. You can't tell me that those don't attach to each other. Because you can't see the up, the upper side of the lower portion where it's slotting into. It sure looks like it could be Lego-like. <laughs> Only they aren't circular bumps that you can put together in many different configurations. It just fits together one way and one way only. Way to go! <laughs> you did it, Link! The Ocean Realm map started glowing! Woo! And there's our new set of tracks. I guess I could have came down to get the, the rabbit over here when I went down to those tracks. I thought they were connected up here, but now, now that I think about it, uh, it makes sense that they wouldn't be connected up on this portion of the land because this is the ocean area that we're in right now. So yeah, the tracks to the Tower of Spirits have been restored, and you better grab that, because you know what's inside it. Come on, let's go back to the Tower of Spirits, Link. Okay. But first, a heart container. Oh yeah, we are building up our heart containers like mad now. Woo! We got like, what was that, three heart containers and th four parts or so? Something like that, because of the um, the two that I got in the one part, and there was a couple parts between this, and then we got to this one. I would love to. Oh wait, no wait, maybe there was a couple more parts between uh, uh, her containers. Well, anyway, now I can go ahead and 
give you oh, there's a little cutscene that plays and now I can give you a little tour of the ocean area now that there aren't any demon chains roaming about that are scripted that you have to take a sir oh no it took me all the way to the outside um uh maybe I'll save that underside then for bonus content because that's a lot to go back through and then come back out just for the sake of showing you a couple of uh Undersea, <laughs> undersea tracks that have nothing on them besides sights to see. So yeah, I'll, I'll I'll come back to that when I wander through here later on when I feel like it. <laughs> All right, so I think there's gonna be like a rabbit coming up somewhere around here, but I don't think there's gonna be anything around here. But I could be wrong about that. I just remember there being one along this route, so I picked like the middle area. Because uh, it seems to make the most sense to me that it would be there, because it's because I, I think it was like a it was between islands somewhere like between well I guess it's not an island there it's a peninsula but <laughs> uh, also fun fact the island green at TPC at Sawgrass Golf Course is also not an island green technically it too is a peninsula but they always call it the island green. Probably because it may as well be an island, because you're not really going to land balls on that little strip of land that connects it to the land all that often. <laughs> it's just there as a, a way to roll your ball into the water at the angle that it's in, and, uh, well, let you walk across there. But that's about it. It really, I guess, acts like an island. Though I have seen people land their balls on there on the PGA Tour, so... It does then act like a peninsula. <laughs> you have to hit like off that astral turf they put over there, like a driving range mat or something like that. All right, so we're still looking for a rabbit. Oh, I was a little bit. It was over here. It was a little bit earlier than I thought it was, but that is okay as long as we get it and we got it. Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> We are collecting everything like mad! It calls for a dolphin celebration! <laughs> um, I'm just gonna continue looking around though. Uh, there is going to be this island that you'll see like coming up around here. It's gonna give you some details. Like, you can't really see all the stuff that's actually on this island until you get up to it. Yeah, there we go, there! <laughs> it's again with the limitations of the system and whatnot. That are currently being emulated, but yeah, this is a place uh, that it looks looks visitable, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It sure does. In fact, there's a train stop right over there, <laughs> but alas, there are no tracks to get to it, so there's no way to do anything about that. Sad face, sad face. So I'm just kind of casually blowing up everything everything that I see here, just because it's fun. <laughs> You might get all sorts of goodies too, so why not? So maybe not from these signs here or something like that, but... I didn't mean to shoot at that, I meant to point at the sign, and I touched it and I ended up blowing up the barrel behind it. <laughs> I didn't roll out the barrel, I blowed up the barrel! <laughs> Woo! Tower of Spirits, we're back! New dialogue! Unchained the spirit track of the notes from Temple of Fear have reappeared! Yes, nicely done. Now, is there, now there is but one temple left until all the tracks are restored. Once they are, we'll be able to enter the altar of the Demon King. Just one more step. Heck yeah! To get to the next temple, do we have to go to a new realm? Yes, the next temple is hidden in a mountain of fire. But first, go reclaim the rail map that will restore the ray to the next realm. Let's go, Link! Alright, we are of course going to start that in the next part, so I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when we begin a new branch of the Tower of Spirits. Oh! 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 You failed me!